Hey, this is going to be a quick tutorial on capturing a first rate in five minutes. Let's just call it the five minute first rate. This is not going to be artful and elegant. There's no delicate ballet of ships circling each other in concentric rings until the perfect moment. It's going to be more like a playground bully. We're going to drive up to them, punch them in the nose and take their lunch money. The boat we're driving is a Sagarian crew space captured Leotian. It is total crap. It has two mods on it. Nassau Porters and Extra Grog, both super cheap mods. So I don't have anything in this operation, really. Uh, I do not care if it gets ganked on the way in and out of port. I don't care if I screw up on boarding and lose it, because I'll make another one. Uh, first thing you saw there is I rotated back to face the port I came out of. It's always nice when doing these missions, because when you pop out of the mission, you're blind and you could be surrounded by Swedes. And if you're pointed the right direction, you're only mostly screwed instead of 100% totally screwed. As we pop up into combat here, I'm going to do a couple of things that I do at the beginning of every battle. That's 1, 5, 2, 5, 3, 4, uh, two, 4, 4, no, 3, 2, 4, 2, uh, which is going to set the left and right guns to charge, the bow and stern to chain. I don't plan to fire a single gun during this tutorial, uh, but you never know, so it's always best to have them ready because it takes so damn long to reload these things. I also, before the battle started, kept 7 and 9, which turned off my gun crew and moved crew to boarding fully charged, rather than me having to sit here and wait while that charges up and hope it's there in time by the time I get to the other boat. So really important for doing this super efficiently to at least get 7 and 9 switched there. Now, like I said, we're going to drive up and punch him in the face. I'm going to go straight towards this boat. It means I don't do anything initially. When you start these battles, you are just slightly too your right of them, you'll pass like a joust with each other on the left, and we want him to think that's going to work out until the last minute. Like I said, we're not going to use guns, I don't want to bang the ship up if I don't have to, uh, there's nothing wrong with that. With this head-to-head -head approach, uh, you do have to get it kind of just right and time the pull at the right time. Uh, but if you screw it up, it's not the end of the world. If you slide off to the right and go on down the side of his ship, you can just come back around and decide whether you want to win with gunnery or whether you want to uh, try for another board or whether you want to chain him and run away. Uh, but if you guys come mostly nose to nose and steer up or downwind together, you can usually salvage it. Especially if you both go to the left and go upwind, you're both gonna stop anyway, great, you'll come side to side. Go to the right, uh, you kind of want to get ahead of him and cut in front. Maybe I'll do a follow-up video that shows that maneuver. Right now, we're just steering straight towards him. And what you see what I just did there is the fore sail is cranked all the way to the left. My front sail's front mast. I'm not hitting the rudder yet, just the sail. But this way, when I hit left rudder, my bow's going to come over much faster because I've already manual set the sails for manual sailing in that direction. There we go. I'm going over to towards him. He's going to try and dodge a little bit. You just use the bow camera, bow cannon view to get this right. Steer into him as best you can. Get it just right. He gives up and depowers his foresail. There he goes, <laughs> because he realizes, yep, I'm going to hit that. And wants to slow down and try and save his bow sprit, but it's not going to do him any good because he's not going anywhere. As soon as you smash together, you start mashing G for the board. Um, since a patch a couple of times, a couple of patches ago, I've noticed it harder and harder to get that pulling right. So just spam G till you get it. Now they're in the, in the boarding. All I'm gonna do are brace or attack. I want to attack every time he fires deck guns and I want to brace every other time. So we're watching the firepower and melee numbers up here. Actually, if we have more crew than him, we only have to watch the firepower. Right now it's low. Um, oh, was it for nine? That is gonna be a fire deck gun, so we attack. If you see the firepower anywhere between seven, eight, nine, it's usually fire deck guns. You also know fire deck guns has a four round cooldown, so it's pretty easy to anticipate what he's gonna do. After that attack, we just go back to brace, and we're gonna brace for three rounds. This is not the only way to board against the AI. In fact, it's probably not even the fastest and most efficient. What I wanna do is make it super simple, keep my prep number high, so if I get surprised by anything, I'm ready to deal with it. Firepower is way up on his side, that means he's gonna fire grenades, yep. Not a problem, we just brace, brace, brace. Uh, 
after this video, I will go through a quick version of how to do it when you're outnumbered, because you do have to throw in one extra complexity there. But when you have the crew advantage, it's just brace, 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 attack, basically. This, this next round, he should, yep, firepower's nine. He is going to fire deck guns. At the very last second, I'm going to attack. I always want to do it right as it clicks from two to one, so he doesn't have time to respond. And there we go, 40 to one. Uh, what's the battle timer up there say? I don't know, we're the less than 520 on the video included the sail up. So under five minutes to capture this. Now it's a victory, so that's why it happened so quick. Against the ocean, you'd have a couple more rounds. Uh, but it's just that simple. That same formula works over and over again. And it works in a worst case scenario too. Let's, I'm gonna throw in a video here in a second where I'm in a victory and they're in a ocean. So you see what happens against an almost 300 man crew at disadvantage. As I enter open world, I'm going to spam W to get my sails up quickly, because again, I want to take as much advantage of that speed boost to get back into core as possible. So you're coming out blind, and occasionally people gank around the spots where we run missions, so keep an eye on that. I go ahead and crew up my main ship all the way. The fleet ship, I'll add whatever crew I have available to it as well. But I'm not going to waste reps or rum here, because these are throwaway ships, I'm not worried about it. And most of the time, I'm just fine. Uh... And that is that. Enjoy the boats. Next, let's show a quick video here of me in a victory, them in a Leotion. I'm down 250 crew at the start, which saves me one bit of trouble because I don't have to pull. If we slow down, they'll pull me. Perfect. The only thing that's different when you're boarding and have lower crew than them is that the AI will attack sometimes. So you want to watch the melee number at the top right under firepower. When they send the melee number up, there it goes. Oh, no, they're defending right there. When they send the melee number up, other than a response to your counterattack, here we go. You want to defend. If you miss a defend, you will probably lose the boarding. So if you miss a defend, immediately disengage. And get out of there. Um, but otherwise, as long as you nail that defend, you're going to beat him. I'm still trying to counterattack into the deck guns, but that's not essential yet. Especially if your prep numbers are low here. Just worry about getting the defend on the attack, and you'll eventually get him beat down until you have a crew advantage, which I'm going to do here now. Yep, crew and morale are over the top. And then it's the same as before, where I'm just going to counterattack into their fire deck guns. In fact, I actually screwed this up and counterattack into their musket volley a couple of times in this video, um, which works too, but I'm losing a lot more crew than I need to. Uh, so it would have gone a little faster if I hadn't done that. Not all the AI uses muskets, so just misread it. Uh, but still, you're going to see it's an easy win. I'm not in any danger at any point. Uh, Again, I'm using crappy ships. This ship is a fur mahogany victory with one upgrade slot in which I throw in a Nassau Borders. So these aren't expensive upgrades on expensive boats. Uh, I do use Marines 15 and uh, I have the Book of Five Rings, which helps a little. Uh, you definitely want the Marines. You can get by without the Book of Five Rings, but load up whatever boarding books you can and just knock these out, guys. There's no reason you shouldn't have a first rate or screening actions. There's no reason you shouldn't be leveling up first rates to unlock slots, because you can get them for free in five or 10 minutes. Um, and you can do it over and over again. It's also a great source of revenue. You can sell them to the Admiralty or sell them to Chops. Um, so get out there and don't be scared of these boats. Uh, yep, it's taking a lot of rounds. I've run out of things I wanna talk about in this. So let's just watch and listen to the needlessly dramatic music. There we go, free boat. Again, crew it up, lead battle, and go home. Thanks guys, I hope this helps a little. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments.